without gentler invitations. <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentecost, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just, uh, what are you seeking? The champion. Which one? You know exactly why I'm here. <clears throat> Time to start talking, dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. What do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. We will have to fight them sooner or later. Then we make our stand here. Prepare yourself. We can't keep this up forever. Perhaps we'll be lucky and they'll run out of Darkspawn. Here they come. Shall I give them a taste of my blade? All yours, brother. to them. Bullshit. That's not what really happened. Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? I'm not interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. <laughs> what makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me. You knew him even before he became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where he is now. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious Chantry's fallen to pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to him, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. You'll need to hear the whole story. The Blight had been unleashed on Ferelden. Dark spawn poured out of the wilds, clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kaelin died on the field with his men, betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the horde marched on the village of Lothering. The village burned. And many innocents were slaughtered. The champion's family barely escaped in time. I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. 
At least we're alive. That's no small feat. Yes. You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at me? I've been running since Ostagar. Not to interrupt, but the Blight's not going to wait while we stand here pointing fingers. Please, listen to your brother. Then let's go. Lead on. Wait. Where are we going? Away from the Darkspawn. Where else? And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. So long as we wander aimlessly away from the Horde, I'm happy. We can go to Kirkwall. Well, that wouldn't be my first choice. There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that. But we still have family there. And an estate. Ah. <sighs> then we need to get to Guaran and take ship. If we survive that long, I'll just be happy to get out of here. Apostate, keep your distance. Well, the Maker has a sense of humor. <laughs> Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lothering. The Spawn are clear in their intent, but a mage is always unknown. The Order dictates. Wesley. The Order dictates. Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. A strange time to be hunting apostates. His fellows left with the Chantry priests. I was traveling to Denerim on business for the Order, but I had to turn south when I heard of Ostagar. Bad luck and judgment brought us together here before the attack. The nice Templar has been convinced to postpone his hunt for illegal mages. So let's not dwell upon it, shall we? Wise girl. You're quick to offer your allegiance. Another blade between us and the Darkspawn? Yes, please. So long as the Horde is their first concern. My duty is clear, but that is for another day. If we are granted that opportunity. We will be fine. We all will. For a while, it looked like we were the only ones to escape the Darkspawn. We aren't free of them yet. You didn't see Ostagar. This is just the start. You were there. Yes, I see it now. Third Company, under Captain Varel. Then you saw how the whole of the army was defeated. We fell to betrayal. Not the Darkspawn. This arm of the Horde will not have the same advantage. I'm watching you, Templar. And I you. Terms I am sure we both expected. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped! The wilds are to the south. That's no way out. If the options are south or die, I'll take my chances with south.
Anthony. Wake up. The battle's over. We're fine. I'm sorry, mistress. Your daughter is gone. No! These things will not take Bethany. Maybe we should grieve when we're safe. Don't speak to me of grief. This is your fault. How could you let her charge off like that? Oh, my poor little girl. My sweetheart. If we stand here weeping, the Darkspawn will take the rest of us, too. Allow me to commend your daughter's soul to the Maker, Mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Maker, give this young woman a place at your side. Let us take comfort in the peace she has found in eternity. I will never forget you, Bethany. Too late. There's no end to them. got visitors to the wilds, but now it seems they arrive in hordes. Impressive. Where do you learn how to turn into a dragon? Perhaps I am a dragon. If so, count yourself lucky. The smell of burning darkspawn does nothing for the appetite. If you wish to flee the darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. So you're just going to leave us here? And why not? I spotted the most curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? You could show me that trick of yours. That looks useful. <laughs> I dare say it is. Such a clever tongue for a mage. Tell me, clever child, how do you intend to outrun the Blight? We're going to Kirkwall, in the Free Marches. Kirkwall? My, but that is quite the voyage you plan. So far, simply to flee the Darkspawn. Any better suggestions? I hear the deep roads are vacant now. <laughs> oh, you I like. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight, and the world will shake before you. Is it fate or chance? I can never decide. It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. There must be a catch. 
<laughs> there is always a catch. Life is a catch. I suggest you catch it while you can. Should we even trust her? We don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Some call me that. Also Flemeth. Asha Bellinar. An old hag who talks too much. <laughs> Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? What is a Witch of the Wilds, exactly? A chasing legend. Witches that steal children. Bah! As if I had nothing better to do. Then you're an apostate. Yes. We have so much in common. You would go through all that trouble to have something delivered? I have... an appointment to keep. It is far more convenient this way. Happily. You're not without your own needs. How much trouble will this delivery be, exactly? About as much trouble as my saving your lives, not five minutes ago. Good point. <laughs> if you knew my daughter, you'd know how seldom I hear that. Should we trust her? Wesley is injured. We'll never escape the Darkspawn. If you need to, leave me behind. No. I said I would drag you out if I had to, and I meant it. Roast a few more Darkspawn, I'll do anything you want. Sadly, my charity is at an end. There is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. <coughs> no, leave him alone. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie! She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. What are you talking about? From the dark spawn. All that blood. I knew... when it happened. And how much time before you? Not long now, if I am any judge. There must be something we can do. The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostagar. Not all, but the last are now beyond your reach. Aveline, listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. Your husband, Eveline. I can't decide his fate. He's strong, my love. Without an end, there can be no peace. It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth! I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion. 
Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you.